ladies and gentlemen, it's the Kissing Cousins from Off the Tag, and we're back with another craft beer review. We are doing another collaboration. Another one. Another one. Hey, this research is just ridiculous on these collabs. Well, and these two... We're doing two breweries. <laughs> two breweries. They weren't the... <laughs> two breweries. They weren't, they weren't the... Two breweries. They weren't the easiest to find research on. So we're doing Coronado Brewing Company and Belching Beaver Brewing Company. And basically... They're one and the same. Uh, the research that I did was, and it's kind of funny that the two of them are still like working together because Belgian Brewing opened up in 2012, if I'm not mistaken. And Coronado has been open for shit about 23 years now, or so I don't, I mean, they've been open for quite a while. And the brewer that used to work at Coronado is now the owner of Belching Brewing. So they're both from San Diego. Coronado, obviously. Is that like an island? Oh, I have no clue. <laughs> Zero clue. I feel like it's got to be like some sort of a point or an island of San Diego that's... Because they keep calling it an island. But... It's probably Peninsula. <laughs> I wasn't able to find how big of a system they had, how, many they, how much they put out a year. So that's pretty much it, which is still kind of a cool story because you would think like, oh, some dude just left the brewery, went and opened up his own place down the road, and now here they are doing a collaboration, so... It makes sense, though. Like, a lot of, like, the brewing industry, they all work together. Yeah, well... So... So, I mean, like I said, this place has been around for, like, 23 years. It opened up in 1996. Coronado, that is. And, I mean, they just hit the ground running. Home brewers, obviously... You know, so it does make sense that they're still friends and they still work together because that's kind of probably like, where they started. <laughs> yeah, right. So if you're looking at if you're looking at the hand, if you're looking at the hand of California like this, so it's gonna go up like this. There's a point in where San Diego is, and it's like right there. That's where it is. <laughs> All right, the hand, the hand. <laughs> All right, the hand. Why don't, you wanted me to read the can, so I'll read. I'll read the can. <laughs> the, the hand of <laughs> the hand of. It's I've never easy. heard of that even as. Like, me neither. It's always the hand of Wisconsin or the mitten of Michigan. The mitten, mitten of Michigan. Yeah, Michigan looks like a mitten. Does it really? Yeah. And then Louisiana always looks like an L. Yeah. For loser. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> All right, so you wanted me to read the can. This beer is damn coastal. Coronado Brewing and Belching, Brew Belching Beaver put their tails together. You see what they did there? And brewed one, one epic hazy IPA. It's brewed with a blend of Idaho 7 and Azaka hops for an intensely tropical and piney beer fit for mermaids and beavers alike. <laughs> That's the funny. Cor the Coronado is actually, it looks like their logo is the mermaid. Well, also, I know why you wanted me to read that, because now you don't have to say anything as far as the hops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Got him! Wait, what's left? Try it? Let's shoot it. No, there's a 7.5 alcohol and a 45 IBU, so that's... It's going to be, be bitter. Pretty bitter, actually. We'd assume. Yeah. We've been we've been fooled before. It smells like a really good IPA. I don't get much bitterness on the back end at all. It's all up front and then dies out. This is going to sound weird, but it definitely, the flavor and the bitterness goes back a little bit further than some of the beers we've been doing recently. Oh, yeah. It's not all the way in the back of the throat, like punching you with flavor or like, boom, just giving it to you. Oh, but yeah, that's good. It's really good. It's smooth. Drink it's a, a, it's drink a, a hazy. I'm going to say intermediate, just straight intermediate. Hazies are usually going to be on the easier end of an IPA for a new person to drink, but definitely an intermediate. Yeah, there's just that hoppy aroma, and then the upfront bitterness is going to turn people away. So, without, without getting too in depth, I mean, this is a really good beer. That's all it I is, really have to say. That's all I got about it. It's damn well put together, good collaboration. It is a little more prickly, like. On the sides of my tongue. There you go. Use it as mouthwash too. It doubles as that. <laughs> I was trying to get on the side of my tongue. Go. Me <laughs> too. Start, start licking the inside of the rim. But yeah, it's pretty 
good. Used to that. <laughs> That's all That's I got. Tasty. That's delicious. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, keep her tuned. Thank you.